This particular video is actually going to be a makeup tutorial and I filmed a video based upon this look and it's really just a nice fun summer look. Um, I don't know why but lately I've been obsessed with purple. So I did a simple, I feel like it's very simple look and I incorporated some purples and of course some gold um, into the look and of course with a nude lip. Now in this video, um, I did do some highlighting and some contouring, but it was very, very light highlighting and very light contouring because it is the summertime and I know a lot of times um, people are not interested in wearing a whole lot of makeup. Um, this is a full coverage look. However, I did use a lot of powder in the tutorial to try to keep it matte and to kind of set the liquids and the creams that I did apply to the face. Um, I did a different routine with my brows as well, but you'll see that in the video. And this is pretty much it. I did use a baby wing liner, just a little baby wing liner just to give it a little bit of lift to my eyes. And I did a few new techniques, but you'll see that in the video. So if you haven't already, please hit this button. I'm going to link it here in the annotation. Just click it and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in seeing how I created this fun summer smoky purple eye look, then please continue to watch the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. So to start the look off, I'm using my primer. This is the Professionals by Benefit Cosmetics. Next, I'm going to do my brows, and I'm using my angled brush by Sigma. I think this is the E65, and I'm going in with the browsing um, the brow powder, just the powder portion of it, and I'm going to make the shape of the brow with that powder, and I'm just going to use that angled brush to kind of assist me with making that shape. Now I've just grabbed my Anastasia um, Dip Brown Pomade and I'm using the shade Chocolate. This is going to not only um, define the brows, but it's also going to set the brows. Um, if you have oily brows like I do throughout the day, um, sometimes if you use just a powder or a pencil, your brows will start to fade. But I found that with this pomade, they won't fade at all. It holds them in place and they look very neat and clean. So to clean them up even more, I'm just going to go in with my flat brush by e.l.f. And I'm just using some concealer. This is by LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And I'm just going to clean up the lower brow. Now I don't conceal on the top brow. Just kind of let it do its thing. Just to look, you know, a little bit more natural and not so um, defined. Now I'm going to get started with um, the foundation. And to prep my skin, I'm just going in with my e.l.f. setting spray. And that's just going to moisturize the skin just a little bit. And now I'm going in with my flat top kabuki brush and as you can see I did mix my NARS foundation as well as my L'Oreal. And I'm just going to mix those two together and buff them in with this brush. Now for the concealer portion, as you can see, I'm just going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I mixed it with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And now I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and I don't like it damp. This is actually a dry beauty blender and I'm blending out that concealer. Now for the summertime, I just want a natural light glow. So I'm not going for like a full just beat back type look. I just want a natural glow. So this is why I'm concealing very lightly. Um, but yet I'm not and I'm only using maybe one or two shades lighter now I'm going in with my Sasha buttercup y'all know how much I love this stuff It gives an amazing amazing finish to the skin and now I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Powder contour kit and I'm just lightly as you can see very lightly dusting that powder right along the um, the jawline um, down the bridge of my nose and I'm also going to do it around my forehead um, just the areas that I want to um, darken and contour. Now I'm just lightly dusting off the places where I placed that powder. Um, you know, you just want it to sit for a few minutes. They call that the cooking or baking. Um, I don't let it sit very, very long as you can see. So now I'm just going in with my blush, and this is Peaches by MAC Cosmetics. This has easily become one of my favorite blushes for the summertime. I just love the natural finish that it gives to my skin. And it is a buildable brush. As you can see, I can kind of keep adding it on, and it just kind of builds. Um, it's just one of my favorite blushes for the summertime. So this is the face so far. Oh, I forgot to do powder. This is the Mineralized um, Skin Finish by MAC. 
and I'm just gonna kind of dust that all over the face just buff it in with my um, brush and now I'm going in with that forever 21 bronzer that I'm always always talking about just to give me a nice natural bronziness and glow to the skin now let's start the eyes so I'm going in with this Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the golden one, golden one, and you use that anytime you're going to be doing eyeshadows with that similar shade. And as you can see, you don't need very much. It's very pigmented. It goes a very long way, and I do like the coverage that it provides as far as um, canceling out some of the color as well, but it also acts as a great base. And um, as you can see, it's just so pigmented. It's just going to grab the eyeshadows that we're going to place on there. Now I'm grabbing the Omrezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going in with the shade Caramel and I'm using that as my crease color. And it'll also be my transitional color. Now using that same palette, I'm going in with this beautiful color, it's called Iridescent Purple. And I'm going to place that into the crease and into the outer V. And I'm using my blending brush to blend those two colors in. So still with that same palette, we're going to pick up the color LBD. It is a black shade, so we don't want to put too much in there. Just a little bit, just to deepen that outer V area. Now I'm just going to pick up my flat brush from Sigma and I'm going in with the shade Topaz and I'm applying that all over the lid just to kind of fill in those areas where we didn't apply shadow. And for the girls with hooded eyes like myself, this is the perfect technique for applying shadow. You want to put the lighter color on your lid just to open your eyes a bit. I usually do this a whole lot and it just really gives me an awake look. This liner is something new that I picked up. It's by NYX. It's called Two Timer. On one end it has a cold pencil and on the other end it has a felt tip liner. I love this liner. It was actually during the 40% off sale at Ulta so if you girls can find it it would be a good investment. So as you can see I did line my eyes and I used the felt tip on the ends to create a baby wing. Um, just something to elongate the eye shape. So y'all kind of got to guess what we're doing next. Well, now we're going to apply the shadows. I thought I was doing lashes next, my bad. So now I'm just going to go in with that same iridescent purple and I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line. So now I'm just going in with my mascara primer and this is by Estee Lauder. It's an excellent primer and what I like about this primer is that it's black. So unlike most primers that are white, it's just really amazing and it really it helps to prime those lashes and pull them out and prep them for mascara. So I did apply mascara off camera and now I'm playing, applying my favorite lashes and these are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. Um, I use the Duo Lash Glue. And I also like to use my fingers to apply the lashes. Um, I try to use tweezers. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, today was not a tweezer day. So um, I initially apply them with my lashes, I mean, with my fingers. And then once I get them on, then I can go in and kind of mend them together with the tweezers. So now I'm just going to go in with this nude liner and this is by Rimmel and I'm just going to line the inner waterline on my, I guess it would be my lower waterline on my lower eye. And I like it because it just really opens up the eye, it gives the eye, as you can see it just gives me more of an awake look. Now I'm grabbing my lip pencil, this is uh, Kenya and it's actually by NARS, it's a beautiful brown color. I really, really, really love this lip pencil and I'm just going to create a just a natural lip and I'm going in with Honey Love and this is by MAC Cosmetics and as you can see on its own it can be kind of overwhelming but once you add a liner to it it is quite beautiful and um, I went back in with that brown pencil just to kind of line the lips again now I didn't today but you can always add a gloss on top to give it a little bit more of a pop but I just kind of wanted something flat today so I didn't put a gloss on 
So this is actually one of my favorite lip combinations that I have been wearing for quite a while now. Okay, girls, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this summer smoky eye tutorial. I love this look. It gives me just enough glow and color for the summer. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, be you, be beautiful, and be blessed. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.